Today I'm going to walk you through a different way to hold your bow if you are struggling to play Irish fiddle tunes with a classical bow hold. And if you want more Irish fiddle tips like this one, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and tap that bell icon so that you get notified every single time I post a new tip. So as someone who started off playing classical violin and then made the switch to be an Irish fiddler, I can honestly say that changing up my bow technique made all of the difference in my playing. It all started out uh, when I started noticing that there was a lot of advanced players that were using this bow hold. They were holding it a lot higher up the stick, like this high or even higher than that. And the more I noticed it, the more I was watching these performances, the more I thought, you know, maybe I'll try this. So I get into the practice room at school and I tried it out for the first time and boom, instantly, that was the biggest difference automatically in my playing. And I don't say that lightly because if you're a musician, you know that doesn't happen that often where you hear an immediate difference. So much of music is building up this muscle memory and this practice. But um, with the bow hold, it made a ton of difference in the sound that I was able to create and the lilt that I was able to have in my playing. So when I hold my bow, it's about two handprints up from where I would normally be. A classical bow hold is down here. I'm holding it up here. My hand position is definitely weighted more towards the front with my index finger, but my pinky is up for balance. Here's what it looks like on the fiddle. By the way, if you've tried this bow hold, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about your experience with it. Now alternatively, of course you can keep a classical bow hold if that's what works for you. You could also have a classical bow hold that's more uh, higher up on the stick so you can see that the pinky is actually on instead of being arched off like the way I do it. So you've got roughly your same classical bow hold just higher up on the stick. Or there's your usual classical bow hold right there. You can use that one too. You really just want to find the bow hold that gives you the best sound that allows you to create the rhythm, the lilt that you really want to in your fiddling. That's the most important thing of this exercise. If you're looking to improve your bowing strategy, I have an entire section in my free fiddle tip vault that is full of other videos just like this one and designed to give you quick exercises to easily add to your practice routine. Sign up using the link below in the video description to access the free vault. Also, check out this video if you're new to Irish fiddling and you want some clarity on where to get started. So if you liked this video today on the alternate bow hold, please give it a like, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.